Welcome back to Dream Home Decorator. Today we're gonna do a $14,000 renovation because I feel like we need some money. We need to like progress our own house a little bit and actually build some more stuff. Like I wanna do that basement. I wanna renovate the upper level as well. And at some point we're gonna buy the next door neighbor's house as well. So there's a few things I wanna do, but before we get fully stuck into it, I should address the fact that once again, some time has passed. We actually missed the last gig that we, the fabulous living room that we had selected because if you missed yesterday's video, I went around and I cleaned up the Big Wallet family timeline. Basically, there was a lot of Sims in this world that we mentioned a few episodes ago that should probably not be alive because they were great, great, great grandparents. So I went through and cleaned all that up. So if you want to watch me Thanos snapping a bunch of Sims, go check out that video from yesterday. That's why we missed that gig. So today we're going to take a new gig. Presumably, I'm just assuming there's a $14,000 gig. There's a level renovation at the Huck, Huck House. I, I don't know. Uh, and then is that, that that's the only one. So level renovation. Okay, well, we'll try. We'll accept that. That is going to be today at 9 a.m., which is easy enough. Now, the other thing is you guys are saying how I, <laughs> I, I turned aging off and then I'm like, when's Hagrid going to age up? And I guess for some reason, it, well, it clearly it didn't register with me that he's not going to age up if I've got auto aging turn off. But for some reason, I, I guess I thought pets would, like I knew she wasn't going to age up. But I thought the pet, anyway, we got to go to the vet. We got to get an age up treat. We'll do that later today as well. So we'll age up Hagrid today. Cause I, th I feel like he's been a puppy long enough. And I'd like, cause the thing is you can't, you can't do everything with a puppy. Like you can't walk them, you can't train them. So it'd be nice to actually have have Hagrid age up so we can actually treat him like a, like a dog. But anyway, yeah, so we'll, we'll sort that out later. Uh, okay, you're back up again. Oh yeah, that's the other reason. So that's why she's very sad is because, <laughs> because of the episode or the video where I was, you know, snapping a bunch of sims out of existence she's pretty sad about it so because i guess unfortunately you know lord is kind of off the table now because he shouldn't have been alive he was a great 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 uncle i guess maybe i don't know i don't know what his actual relationship to some of the family members were but he was way too old to actually even exist in the game anymore and he probably shouldn't have let me go wake up haggard because he might be able to make me feel a bit better haggard's like not nah. oh there we go <laughs> he woke up he was like he was like i'm not getting up at this time hello where'd you go Oh, we're going around the coffee table. Hey, man. Hey, Hagrid. Whoa! <laughs> he just, like, floated up. Ah, so that should reduce our sadness for a while. Can we take, like, a sad bath or something? Or can I do something? I can cry it out in bed. Oh, I can make a sad painting. Oh, wait, I have no money. <laughs> That's right, I don't, I don't have any money. All right, well, let's go cry it out a little bit. That should reduce it by... Nothing at all. Great. Well, let's just sleep. <laughs> let's just go to sleep. All right, so it's time to start the brand new day. Um, I'm going to give Hagrid another comforting hug because we should be pretty... Yeah, we've got four hours left, so we should actually be good by the time we go to work. Now, Hagrid, have you had... Do you have enough food? You do. That's all good. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some food as well. Let's make some. I don't have a lot of money. Oh, I can make spaghetti. That's not really a breakfast food, though, is it? Let's maybe not do <laughs> spaghetti. Let's just do... Let's do a grilled cheese. That'll be nice. Three bucks. I can afford that. So the voting period is open. Uh, what does it say? Max name. I, I really don't want these neighborhood action plans. Do I have enable NPC? Okay, so NPCs do not vote and we don't have the, the footprint on. Okay, so that's fine. So what do we actually have? I've got 319 influence points. So there's that, I guess. So I can definitely vote on what I want. But we have four things active right now. Can I? Oh, sharing is caring. Wait, that's not good. Someone. Oh, I'm going to have to. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to instant repeal these because I, I, I don't want these. It's strange that they didn't just make a disable feature for the neighborhood action plans. I just don't. I don't like them. Let's get rid of them. OK, so there should be. Yeah, there should be none now. Let's just double check. We have none. The neighborhood cannot vote, so we should hopefully end up with none. I don't know if that's how that works. But anyway, so that's good. All right. So let's uh, clean up that plate. She is now happy again because Apparently, a few hours have passed since the morning of Lord. <laughs> and I'm on the toilet, but it's time to go to work. Oh, this is a lovely looking house, isn't it? <laughs> Quite a unique uh, frontage. Hey guys, well, this is, uh, you, you could definitely use a level renovation. Hey, what's up? I see that you are, so level renovation in this is basically the entire house. I'm going to assume, I'm going to guess, first of all, that it's the ground floor. It better be the ground floor. If it's not, then we're going to have, we're going to have a problem. All right, let's have a look at this disgusting. Are you the only client? You're the only person that I see here, which, I mean, makes it easier for me. I just have to talk to you. 
All right, so let's discuss designs. Now, you guys keep telling me that I can just ask them about their favorite color. Um, I, I, I'm curious if I do that, will that, okay, two things she just like. Will, if I ask her about her favorite color, will that, it doesn't appear here, okay. That, that's kind of good, because that means I can find out that. So I know she dislikes green, although she's sitting in a green room. Maybe that's why she doesn't like it anymore. If I ask her again, will she give me a different one? She's not really giving me a whole lot here. No, she didn't give me the dislikes green again, or anything for that matter. Um, hey, did you want to get off the computer and actually talk to me? <laughs> can I suggest uh, a different decor style? Maybe we can get... I just want something that she likes. Because, like, dislikes, I guess, are a thing, but... No, 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 give me a like. Suggest a different color. Give me a likes color instead of dislikes color. Okay, likes yellow. There we go. See, now you're talking. Can I try a different decor style again, maybe? Uh, okay, I think she just went back to storybook, disliking storybook. No, no. But a different decor style. One that you like, maybe. Okay. She literally just did. Do you like any decor style? What, what do you want? <laughs> Is there one that you like? Okay, there we go. Yes, let's leave it. Likes modern. I can I can work with that. Alrighty. Discuss design. We need one more like. So we got programming, which I'm going to guess is just computers. Likes cooking. Alright, so we've actually got a nice little set of likes here, which I, I quite... I'm quite happy with. All right, let's send the client away. Yep. So you be gone. Now let's check that we're actually renovating this floor. Ground floor. Okay, good. So we can basically renovate the entire house, which I like. Okie dokie. So let's go to live mode. Let's go ahead and say, take before photos. This time I'll actually remember to do it. And we'll also steal some stuff too, for sure. All right, so I'm thinking I'll probably, I don't think I'll change like walls on the exterior, but okay, I can't move far enough back to get a photo of the house. But I was thinking we might repaint the house or like change the windows because what is going on with those windows right there? I don't know. So I guess the living and dining area like that maybe. Then the kitchen area, maybe just like this angle. And we'll probably do more than this, but I, I don't know. Like I don't know how much money I'm going to have when I sell everything. Maybe I'll just do one of the backyard as well because we might do something out here. I have one more photo, but I'm just going to leave it. All right. So there we go. Let's go to build mode. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is probably sell at least the main living area. So let's get rid of... Oh God, it's so dark in here. Let's get rid of all of this, this kitchen, one by one. So if there's anything on stuff, I actually sell it. Oh, wait! I need a steal. Hang on. Oh, I guess I can steal... Oh, wait! <gasps> if I can steal this computer, that is worth $10,000. Hang on, let me go back to the bit. That's fine. We should be able to do this. <laughs> yeah! Attempt to swipe. Yoink! Thank you. The problem with... Taking high value items is I don't get that money in my budget, which is a shame, but it's okay. We'll work with it. All right. So our current budget to actually work with is $32,000. Not bad. So let's go first of all at a night time. I like doing my trick of getting lights in first, just so we can see what we're working with. And then we'll probably change the light. Well, I don't know, actually. I'm, well, I might change the living room layer because this wall for the kitchen I really don't like. So we'll probably change that. But I don't know if we'll actually change these other rooms. I don't think we need to. But what we definitely need to do is change some windows on the front here. Like, what is going on? And this light. And this door as well. Let's change that. I think we need like a wow factor. Oh, Batu door. Yeah, I was going to say we need a wow factor door. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Let, let's actually try to make this house look nice. I actually want to put in some effort on this one. Oh, this door is super... Yeah, I love that door. Okay, that door is super nice. Oh, yeah, so I actually uh, have finally turned my mods and CC back on. So I actually do have the uh, delicious kitchen set by Lil Dicker and Deligracy in here too. So I've got a few extra things. I don't know if we'll use them for this build or anything, but just if you see like CC, that's what it is. Thinking what I want to do with that. What would be cool to do is... can Okay, you know what? Let me go inside. Let me remove this wall. So this is now going to just be the living space. And then, so the roof up here, can I? Oh no, I can't modify the roof, can I? Oh damn. Wait, can I, does that mean I can't, can I change this wall? Oh, I can, okay. I can change the paint, that's fine. But I can't change the roof tile, is that right? Oh no, I can. Oh, okay, cool. No, we're good, we're good, great. So it's a bit boring, but I'm just gonna go with this sort of corrugated metal roofing. And I actually do like that sort of wood that they've got on the side, so I'm gonna do that again. I kind of want to get rid of these decorations, but I don't think I can, unless my sim lives here, which is kind of annoying, but so we'll just ignore the lights hanging off it right now. Can I do something like this, or is this gonna look weird? I'm just trying to figure out how I'm doing the entrance. I don't know if this is the floor tile I want to use, but that's what I'm using right now. I think if I remove that, I think it removes the ceiling. And I think even if I say, Click here and then say remove floor. I think the ceiling disappears too. So yeah, we have to have the floor there. Oh yeah, now it's like that. So what I was thinking, maybe just this sort of fitness one where it's kind of like that wavy texture. We can't really see it uh, in this lighting, but it is there. So we go like this down to there and we'll cover that door bit as well. Now, can I change these? I don't, 
Oh no, I can't. No! <laughs> so, okay, so I can't recolor those things up there. It's all right, uh, I'll work with it, I'll work with it. Oh, I can't paint this wall, no! Wait, it lets me do the roofs, but not the stone. Um, all right, well this section of the house then will be this new wood color. And then that section behind, maybe just like a white sort of render kind of thing. But what if I get these along here? The problem is the roof, but I can't, I can't delete the roof. Can't rotate. Okay, I can change the color of it, but I can't do anything else. I think I just have to leave it then. I, I think adding like the straight edged beams really doesn't help us. Unless, hang on, I've got an idea. If we use the black, these black ones that are actually a lot thicker and then sort of just place them offset. Okay, it almost works. This one here is a little low. So if I put that high enough, does that stick through the roof? And you know what? I think we got it. Okay, so I can do that over there. Again, I don't know if that's actually helping us at all. I feel like it's not. All right, let's fix the windows. So the, the, now the good thing is this window here, we can actually change this to whatever we want because you can't really see it behind that. So first of all, let's get make sure we're getting cheap windows because I can't really afford much. Like uh, we don't actually have that much money. We got $30,000. So let's go and we can even do three windows. So it's quite big. Yeah, so you can see them behind that, but you get, still get pretty good privacy from like the side angles. Straight on, obviously not so much, but we'll do like a blind. That's fine. So I think that looks a lot better. And now over here, we'll change these bathroom windows as well. So I think what might be a good idea, what if we go, or should it be white? Yeah, that's what I was like, should it be white to brighten it up though? Kind of hard to tell because the lighting is really not great right now. These don't look particularly great sitting on the front of the house just by themselves. So that's why I'm like, I kind of want to <laughs> do something around it or do something, you know, do something here. What about we do not a wall, but like a fence or something here. So you get the privacy screen of a fence. Now, what color should this be? Be black to kind of match the other stuff, but oh no, you put decorations on it. Why? <laughs> what if we just do half wall and even do it like that? So then it's like, a front fence to the house, right? And then I'll make it out of something that kind of looks like a fence. So do like this. So this is our front yard fence. Oh, I can't put a thing on top of it. Oh, I just don't want to place plates up there. <laughs> is this looking too... What is going on with this house? I, I was like, I'm going to try on this house. And I think it's kind of falling apart pretty quick. But ignoring that, we do actually have a fence out the front. And it is providing privacy. Well, let's put them in. I just want some greenery out here. So at least you look, your outlook is under something nice, you know? Yeah, like that. So then you look out the window, you see some green, you know, that's quite nice. All right, these back windows, I reckon we could save money on these because these are 245 each and windows in The Sims 4 have become so cheap. These are only $35 and the other ones are like 120. So we just saved a whole bunch. Well, I think first of all, let's get rid of that door. Let's change it to one of the big sliding doors. All right, anyway, so we'll do that. And then beside that, Wait, what about a couple of smaller doors? So now they're actually two separate doors that open like that. Cause then that covers more of the wall. Now the side windows, I can we just have the same sort of thing, but it's kind of like that. And then we just do some curtains, that'll be fine. Back here as well, we'll just change that into these windows. Although maybe these might be white framed windows if they're on the back of the house, just to match these guys over here. Okay, so I think we've done an outside-ish makeover. Um, it's still not ideal. I might actually get some of, hang on, no, some of these. Well, you know what? Actually for the bathroom, that'd be really good just to cover that, at least cover that window. You know what? I'll do on these two as well. I actually kind of like that because it kind of just adds a little bit of asymmetry. I might actually do on this side too because I think the fact that they're symmetrically placed along this wall is kind of not working. Just so it's not so, you know, all in line perfectly. And then we can use these as like exterior privacy screens kind of and it also just adds another element on the wall there that looks a bit more interesting i think now the front door i haven't actually recolored that that probably doesn't actually match anything so we need to change that is there like a darker sort of wood not really it's quite a rich wood like it's well not rich quite it's quite a bit brighter i wonder if there's a better one that matches it oh this one might be a little bit better mm, it's, it still needs to be a little bit more orangey than that it's not quite right but i could make this door lighter to match it like that Okay, maybe we do that. Maybe, maybe let's go with this. Let's go with this. Anyway, I mean, I think it looks better. The back is <laughs> not as nice. Maybe we, maybe we can use some of these. Hang on, let's get this here. All right, get this here. And then we can move it up the wall. That's better. Okay, so now we've got those two there. It just adds a little bit of, you know, something happening. Maybe I'll just do that. Just add a little bit more of something happening over there. You got this big blank section up here, which I'm really not sure what to do with. I can't even move that light. Like I can put stuff up there by using move objects, but like what? I don't know. Maybe we just call that a day on the outside. All right. The inside has literally nothing and I got $28,000. So let's uh, maybe get started on that. So they like yellow. So let's maybe say the main bedroom will do a subtle 
yellow. I think floors throughout, we should maybe just do a continuous flooring. No, oh, no, I do like, I do like how wide these, I don't know, these ones, I love how wide they are. I love this color of them too. So, okay, living area will be that and the bedrooms as well. We're going to floorboard. Could I, could I do a, like a, you know what? If I'm doing the ground floor, can I? Oh, it doesn't let me. I was going to say, can I, can I put it up a bit? It'd be nice to have this as an actual deck at the back, which, oh, actually, wait, can I, can I do terrain editing? Oh, I can. Hmm. Because then I can make it look like a deck. If I just bring this down by one, so it's just like one step down, so not much. I can't really see it because I've got decorations all over it, which is kind of annoying. But I'm thinking we just go for like, maybe like a black trim could be kind of fancy. So I think they should be able to just step down from that. So I'm gonna leave it. I I'm also not really sure why the fence doesn't include this part of the house. Like, I don't know why they've... Oh, they got such an expensive fence. We can we can save so much money. I get rid of this fence. I think I might do the same thing I did at the front of the house, to be honest, and use a half wall. Problem being is it now has a foundation all around the edge. So we'll just have to level up the sides there so it doesn't have that because <laughs> it looks really silly. And then we paint this the same we did for the other fence. I think this works out cheaper. All right, terrain paint. I'm not quite sure why they've got the planters like right in the middle there. Like I think that might work better over here. And I think your sim should be able to access that. Fully? I'm not sure. Sometimes you kind of need to move them around a bit, but maybe add a little bit of dirt around these guys. I mean, we are in the desert as well, so we don't want to honestly have grass that looks this good anyway. So I'm going to make it a little bit more sunburnt, maybe a bit muddy there, maybe even a bit sandy over here and like this little section. You know, it shouldn't be perfect, but yeah, like that. All right, so that's the back of the house. That's better. You know, we haven't done too much, but we've sort of opened, we've given them a way bigger backyard. I don't know why it's so small. All right, back inside the house, which I still have not done anything. I think I'm going to do the James special, either just gray or white. Gray usually goes beautifully. Gray is, I guess, a little bit more dated than just white. White is kind of, white walls are kind of just timeless, but I think we're just going to go with that for now. And I'll paint those rooms as well. And then we'll probably change them as we get to them. Now, all these doors are going to change too. Just make them white framed instead of green because this person absolutely hates the greenhouse they got stuck with, which I think I'm going to use uh, the CC kitchen set, Delicious Kitchen. Oh, actually, are any of these counted as yellow? Ooh, here we go. So if I were to do this, let me just turn on auto counters. Come around the corner there. The cool thing about these is you get the, the really nice like sort of waterfall counter edges. We just do the normal one in the middle like that. Okay. So this kitchen is huge. <laughs> it, it really does not need to be this big. Like it's really big. So maybe we remove the end. Oh yeah, this set has this awesome double fridge. This is such a cool CC set. They did such a great job on it. Yellow fridge. No, we can't do a yellow fridge. Let's just go regular looking fridge. You know what? Let me put this fridge over here actually. I think it makes more sense because it's like it's this giant fr I feel like it's maybe like that fridge is great for like a really big house, but maybe it is actually a little big for this house. Now I'm thinking we do... Maybe just sort of white, so it sort of blends a bit more. Yeah, that corner's not, I haven't, hmm, not great. Maybe we don't have a corner and I put a wall there. And then what we could even do if we wanted to be sneaky, put platforms in it. So even when you put the walls down, it's still there. And then we can make it like a feature column. Anyway, let me let me go back to the, I'll, I'll, I'll fix that in a second. Let's get back to the rest of this. So uh, there's actually a, a few other really, really cool things that I love about this set. Let's get rid of that last one actually. And here we can use this tall one. I might get rid of an extra one of those and just make a smaller island. <laughs> the, the kitchen itself is just kind of the wrong size, but let's roll with it. So the door also opens awkwardly this way, but if I flip it the other way, it looks ridiculous. So the door will open like that, block the kitchen. Yeah. Anyway, let's use these uh, beautiful pendants over this. Is that going to be too low? No, you know what? I'm okay with that. That's good. Wait, I have $7,000. What the heck? How much was this fridge? 20,000? Okay, we're not using that fridge. Holy! <laughs> I did not, did not look at that. Okay, well, we'll go back to a regular. I love that fridge with all my heart, but unfortunately, I'm sorry. It's got to go. <laughs> okay, so we've got a big pantry kind of thing next to it. Uh, I kind of like the black in it because it kind of creates a little buffer between the door and the, the kitchen. And I don't know, I, I actually kind of like that. I've actually seen people do some really cool things with... Oh, wait, not these. These are the ones that came with the... Oh, my God, $12,000. Kitchen's so expensive. I've seen some people do some cool things with these ovens where you sort of put one here. And then if you just use move objects, you can, like, stack one above it. So you have, like, two ovens, which is kind of cool. Might even get the two different ones. So, like, you can see they actually look a bit different. A bit close to the fridge, though, isn't it? What if I do this? 
the fridge, pantry, pantry, couple of ovens. I have no idea if that even works. Like, I assume that one works, but that one probably doesn't. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is they'll probably start chopping up food on top of this, but it looks cool. I like that idea. How much are these sinks? 301. We could use some of these sinks. Looks pretty nice. Oh, yellow. <laughs> I think these lights are too low. I think uh, maybe if I just scale them down. I mean, I quite like that. Ooh, look at this dishwasher. Oh, oh that's cool. I like that. But no, and it's too expensive. It's $1,200. Let's get a cheap dishwasher. <laughs> Ooh, bin. I will put it here. I usually like to hide it behind a counter from a certain angle anyway, so you don't see it. So it's like back there. Bathrooms. Good Lord. This is something else. Maybe just some white tiles. We'll, we'll do both the bathrooms the same way. Maybe the floor is more like the slate kind of tile. All right, actually speaking of modern decor, which I wasn't speaking of, but I should be speaking of it because we do actually need to include and incorporate parts of that. Okay, so why don't we get a bathtub? Well, one of these bathroom, bathrooms will definitely have a bathtub. Maybe this front one. So you can sort of sit here. Should I use this tub or the other one? Maybe this one. Or do we go all out and get this? How much is this? 750 is actually pretty cheap. That's pretty nice. Obviously, we'll get some curtains. Maybe do this university ones. All right, so that's that. Uh, I actually don't mind that default color on this. I think it works quite nicely. So we'll we'll stay with that. So we'll get this uh, toilet, I suppose, which will go maybe over this side. Well, hang on. Well, let's just get everything we need. So the sink. And then on this side, we do shower. Not that shower. It's not going to be a modern shower. It's going to actually be just this shower here, the taps. Should we do black? I don't know. We're doing we're doing a lot of black uh, stuff in here anyway. So let's just go with that. And then I want to get it, the shower screen. Ooh, we'll get the little soap for sure. I'll put it, I guess, there. Seems like it would completely spray out into the rest of the room, but whatever. We'll go with that. <laughs> we'll do that. Little toilet roll over here. And then this corner, maybe just one of these. This kind of seems like it goes with the room. All right, that's a pretty nice bathroom. Oh, there's a random toilet paper roll in that wall. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Okay, so that's one bathroom over there. We're going to do a similar kind of thing in the other one. We're going to get a toilet. We're going to get the sink. We're going to get... Not that bathtub. Uh, I don't think we'll get another bathtub. We'll do, hang on, modern. And we'll get this shower here. I guess I could turn this into, uh, maybe we should, because we're, because we're not going to have those two bedrooms. We'll have one spare bedroom. Maybe I think what I might do is I'm going to remove, actually I'm going to move all of this. I'm going to move these doors now. I think maybe we should put this wall here. Maybe I should have done that change a little earlier. <laughs> so door to the bedroom will be here. Bathroom door can go there. And then this is kind of like the walk-in robe. Oh, I guess I can make this bathroom a little smaller. Why don't I do this? Yeah, because I wanted a decent sized walk-in robe here. All right, so a real, really simple bathroom. We've got $17,000 left. So I want to make sure I actually get the rest of this done. Oh my gosh. I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes and we're nowhere near done on this. But let's time-lapse the rest.
All right, so about like a year and a half later, I have finished this renovation. I think it looks a lot better. I mean, again, I would have liked to do more on the outside, but let me take the before and after photo or the after photos now, and then we'll do the reveal. All right, let's hope that this reveal event actually works. I put so much effort into this one. Yes, post the reveal event. Okay, please work, because I, I don't know. No, no, please, please. Okay, we're stopping there. That's a good sign. That's usually a good sign if they actually stop. And we get the sparkles. And then cover the eyes. Cover, cover the eyes. Cover the eyes. Okay, good. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to work there because I really want to show her this place. Yeah, before. That looks better. I mean, not a great angle. Not a great angle, granted. Living room, green. She hates green. Look at that. Actually, that's so much better. <laughs> that is so much better. Kitchen and dining. Kitchen. Beautiful. All right, backyard. All right. Backyard, kind of still all right. And you know, it's not neither here nor there with that. But anyway, looks great. Okay, so she, let's make sure to show her things she actually likes. So like, for example, programming, I'm gonna, well, hang on, let me wait till I can actually show her stuff. Here we go. So programming, she likes. So check this out. She obviously likes cooking as well. So then we'll show her one of the stoves or one of the ovens, I should say. All right, check it out. Look at brand new office. I don't mind those floating things there because I glitched them on the wall, but that's fine. Okay, so there you go. There's that. Check out the, the new kitchen. Come back, come back out this way. Come back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> check out the new kitchen. Oh, dang. Hello. Is there a little bit of a spark between us? I mean, hey, okay. I mean, she really loves the renovations. Dang. All right. Okay. I did not see this renovation going so well. Really hitting it off. I mean, look, uh, if you like the renovations, maybe we can uh, go out sometime. If you don't like it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I, if I can do that. All right. So modern decor. So she has actually checked out everything we need to right now. What, what was actually modern? Because I know some of the stuff isn't modern. Oh, like the bathroom stuff. Check out the bathroom. Look, I redid your whole bedroom and bathroom. Like it's pretty awesome. Check this out. Oh, you know, or not. Just, just stay standing in the kitchen. That's fine. <laughs> Come on, check this out. She doesn't want to. All right, she's going to stand in the kitchen. That's fine, I suppose. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. She took out the walk-in robe. Oh, yeah. So I used these because when you put the walls down, you can still see them. <laughs> That's why I did that. Check out your new bed. I think this is modern, potentially. I don't know. Uh-oh. We had a negative interaction. That's not good. Oh, she doesn't like the mirror. No, 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 don't look at the, no, no, don't look at the mirror. Look at everything else. Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then, hang on, let's just keep her happy. Check this out. Make sure she actually likes more stuff than she dislikes. Okay, she really did not like that mirror. But look, I used it because it fit well in the space. Nothing else really fits. So please, please don't hate this renovation. I need the $14,000. Oh, yes, you've... You've changed my life. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like all I had to do was remove the green and she would have been happy. So I feel like we went above and beyond here. 19,000? Holy! Dang! Oh, wait, hang on. So we earned 16,800. So that's already a bonus. But I guess we got... Oh, we got promoted. Yeah, we got promoted to interior designer. Hazel has been promoted. We got $2,500. She can now suggest bold home makeover ideas. Ooh, I like that. So you have bold home ideas. How about this for a bold idea? Let's exchange numbers. And I will compliment your appearance. There's my number. You can call me anytime. And now I'm going to head out. You know, I don't, I don't want to overstay my welcome. Like, it, it seems a bit dodgy to like make over someone's home, flirt with them, and then just kind of hang out and not like give them space. Like she can call me, she's got my number. She's got my number, it's fine. Now she is busting. Let's go to the toilet. Hey Hagrid. Then we're gonna take Hagrid to the vet because we're gonna get the age up treat. I have not forgotten, even though this is like the world's longest episode. <laughs> this is so long. Morgan Fryer. We haven't gathered in quite a while. Yeah, whatever. I'm busy. All right, you need to do a poo poo. Okay, hang on. First of all, uh, well, I'm not gonna lecture you about barking because I think you're barking because you need to go to the toilet. So that's kind of fair enough. I'll allow it, but I will. Yeah, oh, look how sad he is. You, know, you, can, you can go poo poo. Let's go. Come on. Yes, good boy. <gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> I was like, a lot of people are like, oh wait, yeah, he's a ghost now. Well, hey, he may have got snapped out of existence, but he's still in our lives. No, I would not. I've got a new interest. I would like to go see Hannah sometime. Thank you very much, Lord. She cares about me, unlike you. Aw, oh, good boy. Uh, let me, uh... Let me go mop that up. <laughs> there we go. Do any of these need to be watered? I haven't really taken care of these in a while. Oh, fine. They're all just ready to be harvested. Oh, poo's all the way down there. Look at that. All right, throw that away. All righty, let's go to the vet. And whoa, it is snowing badly right now. Dang. All right, so this is the WAGS vet clinic. Uh, we need to go to the vending machine, purchase pet items. Thankfully, I've got $19,000, which by the way, should we, I, I still, I'm not sure, like, should we keep that amount of money? Because I still feel like it's, you can't pay so much for that one job. To be fair, I literally spent like an hour and a half in real time doing that. So I kind of feel like I also earned it. 
So, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what we should do with it. All right, so age up treat is what we want. And we will probably need to come back for some other treats as well. Like, oh, you know what? While we're here, maybe we should get a few wellness treats just to have them on hand in case it gets sick. Probably a good idea. All right, so let's... We'll, we'll age you up at home. We don't want to do it here. Wait, where's Hagrid? Oh, he's down here. <laughs> I couldn't see him. He's like blending in. All right, so we're going to say feed the vet trait, the age up trait. Here you go. It's time to become a big boy and a good boy too. There you go. Aww. Here we go. Here we go. Well, okay, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Are you going to poof? Okay, we're still circling. Does it normally take this long? I feel like it's been in a... Oh, it's still going. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, oh my gosh. I almost missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I moved it out of frame. Oh, what? This is in the way. I want to see you. Move. Come on. Hagrid is going from a puppy to an adult. He can now swim, climb stairs, go for walks, and start learning tricks. If not neutered, he can now mate with other dogs. Hooray for Hagrid. Yay! Oh, let's give him a good brush. Gonna need to brush him every day. I also realized this is like the worst area to like look at him because he's he's black and it's so dark out here. We can't really see. <laughs> look at his little picture down the bottom of his hand. It's so big. Oh dear. Well, on that note, I'm gonna leave this part of Dream Home Decor right here i hope you liked the really long renovation of this a really big renovation too i think it turned out really well I, I had a lot of fun with that one um it would have been nice to be able to do more to the exterior but because we couldn't edit the roof level uh it means we couldn't do too much but i think what we did do was pretty good and also we met potentially a new love interest she's got our number hopefully she calls us so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time and have an awesome day